Well, I'd say first of all, th there's a lot of energy here. This we're, it, it feels like you know 2019 before the pandemic. There's a fair amount of positive energy here. Um, we've talked to a lot of customers about uh, the need to you know continue to deliver services, especially the carriers, which are our primary customers here. Uh, how do I deliver services more effectively? How do I deliver services more profitably? How do I simplify my environments? How do I lower my cost structure in this constantly evolving competitive market set they're in? And uh, so we spend a lot of time talking with them about that. Speaking of services, you've got a partnership with Mercedes to roll out WebEx, the conferencing tool, in dashboard, in cars. We've been talking about in-car services for a number of years, but it feels like it's here and now. A rival, Zoom, has done a deal with Tesla. Is there any first mover advantage? Well, we have a uh, we have an IoT connectivity platform that has 80 million plus vehicles connected to it, and over 200 million things, including smart meters and Nexus traffic lights. And so we've had a partnership with Mercedes around the connected vehicle, and this is just the first service that you're going to see these things delivered, uh, see these types types of services delivered. And obviously, we WebEx is evolved and is an incredibly secure platform with incredible capabilities and uh, we just want to make sure people pull off the road before they get in their meetings. How significant will services like this be to revenues down the track? Well I think what it is is the biggest thing for the automakers is the over-the-air updates right for them to be able to to do just like you do with a cloud service today where you, you're delivering software updates to your customers on an ongoing basis and I think that's the power and so you can have real-time interactions you can deliver services to your consumer of the vehicle and it allows them to build more sustainable business models as opposed to a one-time purchase they can they can build subscriptions into the car etc and so I think it's gonna be very positive for them let me ask you about the transaction that you've done in recent days. This is around Valtics, a startup that you were also an investor in, effectively to ensure that there are resilient, secure clouds if you, or network if you're operating over multiple clouds. How key is this when we talk about cybersecurity risks as well these days? Well, if you think about what our enterprise customers are facing today, all their employees went home. And as we know, they're not all coming back, and they're definitely not coming back five days a week. So the security... Uh, environment that they're having to deal with today into the home and with applications running everywhere is much more complex than it ever has been. So we're working on a lot of technology where we will actually help our customers apply a single policy that will be applied across every cloud and deliver their, t deliver their traffic securely wherever it needs to go. So that's a big, the acquisition is a big part of that play. I also want to ask you about how 2023 plays out. There's sort of a wide dispersion of views on the issue, depending on what part of the, the network you're operating in. B2B market enterprise is seen as the most profitable area of the, of the business at this point. You had earnings out recently, just over a week ago. You were fairly bullish about the outlook. What are you seeing this year, and what are the key risks to the outlook? Well, the thing that we saw was, from a sequential perspective, our, our demand didn't really change. Uh, however, we all know there are a lot of dynamics at play right now. There are geopolitical tensions, there are uh, interest rates rising, inflation still not under control. So I think the next six months are gonna be interesting to see how they play out. But, um, and I don't think anybody knows, but in general, we believe, uh, at least I believe, and many of my peers that I've talked to, that the risk environment is less today than it was, say, six months ago. But then again, we have new issues that are popping up every day that we have to deal with.